This is Anime Kids, a song I made about me killing a ton of anime kids in Minecraft. I could have said in real life there, but that would have been a lot more threatening. Moving on from the concept, this video that you are watching right now, that you are sat watching in front of whatever screen you are watching this video on, I'm going to say, stop saying watching, is a video where I will now be pointing out everything wrong with the animation and video of Anime Kids. The first mistake we see is made here in the very opening scene, where you see me putting on my signature cap. But at the start, you can see I simply just look at the camera. We'll be covering a few more of these mistakes, but we'll put one mistake on the camera so far. Why have you got a quick now this one's not much of a mistake, so I'm not going to put it on the counter. This is a thing that you can notice. This clip where I open up the laptop, you can actually see it's reversed. You can see this by the hand motion and also the yellow text on the Minecraft screen. This is what it really looked like when it was not reversed. This one shouldn't count as a mistake as it was addressed in the actual video, but I feel like you guys would give out to me if I left it in. So I'm going to count this one because it says RGB in the song, but there is no actual RGB, it's just a lava lamp, so that I will count that as a second mistake. I am constantly stopping now because of minor mistakes. But if you look at the skin that's being used right now, you can see the head texture is actually not correct. It's a bit off. It's hard to see because of the diamond helmet, but it's got a bit of a bluish tint to it. The coloration was broken when it was applied to this, because this is on the Java edition. This was recorded on Java edition using Replay Mod. So while that skin itself is actually broken, it's using the wrong skin in general anyway. Because as you can see later, it's using a completely different skin. So... That's going to count as two different mistakes, and we're going to add another one on top of that for the armor and the elytra, because those aren't used later. Those are not on the skin in the later animation, so that's going to be a third mistake on top. Our next mistake is quite simple, it says in the lyrics that there is enough loot to make a diamond sword, however in the loot previously we see a diamond sword itself, and no actual diamonds, so that is our sixth mistake. A seventh mistake for just a bad animation cut. In that scene we see two mistakes. The first one is when the body falls down, its arms proceed to bounce just a tiny, tiny bit. However, the head next to it does not bounce once it hits the ground. The second mistake is also with the head. Once it hits the ground, you can see it darkens for a fraction of a second and there's absolutely no reason why. That's an extra two mistakes. Now this one was just a terrible design choice, as you can see the ground in this part of the video is just like hyper realistic dirt, but once this massive orb thing goes through it and rips it all up, it's just regular dirt. Terrible design choice and just, we're gonna add it as a mistake. Yeah. Next mistake, shoddy camera work. More shoddy camera work, makes it look blurry. Did you see it? Another look at the camera moment. The lighting in this shot is delayed, it only comes in after the transition. There's the armor again, except this time the skin's changed. Once again, there's no RGB, but we can't count this mistake again. However, there is a bit of green screen still stuck on that filter. He's got blame on his bow, but 
you already know. In this entire scene, there's no background, it just stops. This little bit's supposed to be in slow motion, however, their arms and torso still move. In this little bit, he's still moving in regular motion, but he's moving in slow motion. There are several bits in the scene where skin overlapping is a problem, so we're just going to add all those mistakes up together right now. In this scene, we see our character just randomly gains hands and fingers. Now, this is also actually in the last scene, and that's what caused the skin overlapping, just the hands there just weren't used. This scene is similar to the one earlier that just had dirt as the ground, except in this one, it's a hyper-realistic grass texture, except... The grass in the center of the scene that sticks up out of the ground is only in the center. It's nowhere else in the entire scene in the background. Also in this scene, the enemy has a broken skin texture that was meant for the Alex player model. Except it's on Steve, so half the arm texture is missing. Kids with the anime skins, they better stop, run slow, outrun my bow. All the other kids with the anime skins, they better stop, run slow, death by arrow. All the other kids with the anime skins, they better stop, run slow, outrun my bow. In this scene, we can see that on this player model, the hat or hair part of the model is just missing. It's supposed to be there, but it's not. This is what it would look like if it was actually there. Bush is having issues. His feet just went through the ground. And his foot is broken. This one is another case of the skin being used on a Steve model instead of an Alex one that it was meant to be on. As you can see, half of his arm is gone. In this one you can see the sword went through, but it had to no clip through the arm first. The background here also just ends. In this scene, the sword just no clips through the head, and also, something glitches with the texture underneath the mouth. More bush glitching. Shoe glitching. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I enjoyed making it a lot, surprisingly. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you wanted to go check out the actual song, link in the description. See ya!